Welcome back to MTFC TV. Joining me this time is Magic Craig Elliot. Craig, into the velvet bag for the next round. Three grand better. How are your thoughts about the game? Yeah, it's just another game that I want to win, really. I don't sort of think about things like that. Um, we're on a, you know what I mean, we've had a good week now. Um, obviously, I was disappointed last week against Warrington, but I can't fault the lads. They've been terrific at the last two matches. I think they deserve to win both games and uh, really happy with the performances and even more with the results. I commented online that from where I was sat, it looked like a very complete performance from Guyana. Everybody played the pot. It was very much a team effort. It must be great as a manager to be able to rely on so many facets of the team putting in that style of performance. Yeah, I think it wasn't great in the second half in terms of I wanted us to have more control of the game, but that can happen. And, you know, I mean, they're a big club in their own right and they want to try and get through to the next round, so they throw everything at us. But even the subs coming on um, to make us a bit more sort of defensive and hardest breakdown did brilliant. So like you said, um, a lot of people put different bits of performance in today that helped the team get the victory. When you go in at half time, you're nil nil as a team, you've done pretty well, you've created chances but you've not really tested the keeper. What do you say to the players to sort of change that? Well I just said we need to just keep doing what we were doing to be honest with you. I mean I think we have two really good chances. I think Ryan at the back post and Callum an edit that he should do better with but that can happen and I said if we continue to create chances then uh, you know we'll, we'll take one of them and we, we managed to do that. Looking ahead now, draw on Monday, is there anybody in particular you fancy out of that draw? No, I, like I said I, I don't really think about it, you just take it as it comes, my mind's now on uh, sort of working hard the next two weeks, um, getting some fitness, working on some things and then uh, we've got a nice run of games up until sort of New Year now where we're going to get some points on board. Speaking about that turn off weeks, how do you as a manager deal with having a gap like that? Is it a case of bringing the players in for training? Is it a case of having a bit of a rest? What? No, we'll be working hard, um, but what we have to do is just assess the squad, assess where we are as a team, that's what we're going to do, um, see where we need improvements, um, obviously I need to sit down and speak to the chairman of the club um, regarding what happens moving forward with signings and things like that, so um, there's a lot of work to be done in the next two weeks to make sure we're ready to go into the winter period. We've seen um, Sean Tooten depart, he has joined Belter Tower, don't believe he was eligible to play today, uh, what was the thinking behind his departure? Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, players come and go. Um, you know, it, it's his decision to leave. I wish him well. I know Toots really well, so um, I didn't want him to go. Um, but obviously, we've got to sort of see where we are as a club. Like I said, we need to speak to chairman and uh, see what we're doing uh, moving forward. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Thank you.